Hey, Noob Noob, who's the most controversial podcaster you know? Is it Joe Rogan? Because he made me gay. Well, now that Joe Rogan's got all them dollary dues, I think he can afford a little uh, lawsuit if that's what he, did, it's what he did to you. And Peggy Poos. Oh, my God. Because he pegged me. Died. I don't know about he that. Begged me good. He held you down. Showed me the 50 states. He showed you the money. Speaking of money, did you know that Joe Rogan signed another enormous podcast deal? Where's our podcast deal? Yeah, our podcast is better. We will kill him. <laughs> we will. With our reviews. With our reviews, yes. With our, no violence. No violence. No violence. All. Maybe sexual violence. Oh, I hope Of not. the uh, uh, mutually agreeable kind. Consent. Yes. Well, I feel like that's a strong word for what I'm looking for, but. <laughs> well, controversial podcast host. Uh, isn't his podcast kind of crappy now? Um, There's definitely parts where he's kind of hit a dead wall and, and uh, he had these like two female comedians on and he's just like, he like walked out of the podcast to go to the bathroom and these girls were just so bad. I'm like, Did what are you talking? doing? Yeah, they kept talking. Oh, they kept talking. Okay. Yes. He's like, I got to go. You guys just talk. And th all they did was plug their stupid show. Ha has he brought back Elon recently? Mm, I think he did. Yeah, because he did the, t the, oh, the cyber truck. Cyber right? truck. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Where he shot an hour at it. Correct. That was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I mean, sometimes he's cool. It just depends. He does so many episodes. It's kind of hard to keep up. What is I thought he just does one a week. No, he does like two a day. <laughs> Two a day? I believe so. There's yeah. no way. He, just, he releases almost a podcast a day. A two or three hour podcast. He'll interview multiple people a day? one day. What? Yeah, he's a maniac. Yeah, he puts out so... You have no idea. You couldn't work that hard. No. No. Nor so would you I want to. So you don't want to earn $250 million? Well... No. If you had to actually work real hours, you'd be like, ah, I could be on the street smoking crack. I mean, if I could work like... A third of that for a couple mil, I'd be fine. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and clearly nobody knows how much these podcast deals are worth because Andrew Schultz was saying that he was looking for a $300 million one. And yeah. and, and uh, I forget who the guest was, but the guy was like, uh, he puts out like 10 hours plus of content a week. How many? How often do you podcast? And Schultz is like, uh, once a week. Who is Andrew Schultz? He's a comedian, uh -oh. like a Rogan Sphere guy. He's okay sometimes. So he just brings in Rogan people all the time now? I That's what people have been complaining about. It's just his... That's what Cat Williams was complaining about. He just brings on the six comedians that he what likes. What was Cat... Well, Cat Williams was just... What did he go on? Just bash white people? No, no, because he went after... Oh, he, uh, Kevin Hart. Well, he's basically Kevin white. Hart, he went, he went after uh, Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. Yeah. He did go after Chappelle? Yeah. He went after everybody, man. Cat Williams isn't even that funny, though. He's pretty funny. I just don't think you you're like super familiar with his stuff. It just hasn't been on like mainstream movies that you're familiar with. So, yeah, I only know him from the BET network, which you don't watch. I watch it religiously have. from ages nine through twelve. Uh huh. You're like, very religious. Like those big booty, blue booty, big booty what? black girls. Uh huh. Work it. Well, uh, the Wall Street Journal first reported this new deal on Friday. It's $250 million. He doesn't deserve it. It's basically on loan, though, because they call it an upfront minimum guarantee, and it's based on revenue ad sales. So the first deal he made was exclusive just to Spotify. Now they can put his show on everywhere. It'll be back on YouTube. It'll be on everything where they can get ads. Oh, they oh they just want a revenue show. Oh, okay, got yes, it. and he only gets more than two hundred fifty million once he makes the two hundred fifty, and then plus additional, he'll get more money once they do ad sharing. So now they're trying to whore him out to everywhere. Correct, but they'll get all of the ad revenue, and uh, the shares closed up nearly two percent. Spotify has shares. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're they're already saying in, tw in February 2022. Spotify CEO Daniel Ek denounced the host's racist language. Oh my gosh! It's consistently Spotify's most popular podcast, but it has been the frequent cause of controversy for the company. 
Does he say racist things? <clears throat> uh, I don't think so. I mean, he has in the past, but like a lot of people, basically anybody in Hollywood said racial slurs. Oh, well. Jimmy Kimmel, Sarah Silverman. Has Joe Rogan ever blackfaced? Though? Howard Stern. I don't think so. I know he likes to brag about his like 5% Neanderthal genes. Oh my God. <laughs> so he has a huge, huge audience, variety of guests, including When's he comedians, bringing Trump on? athletes, scientists, and conspiracy theorists. He's always said no to that. So really? I. Really? Yeah. He's tried to he come on. He had Bernie on. Uh, yeah, he, Rogan claims that Trump tried to ca- come on. And then you don't know who this is, but PBD, PBD, who? Pat, Bet David. Yeah. He went on. Rogan specifically to convince him to have Trump on. Isn't wait he had Bernie Sanders on? Isn't wait is Rogan a liberal? Oh yeah. He's oh a is lefty. he? Yeah 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 yeah. Except he like believes in two A, and he's oh, a doomsday liberal. Sort of. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. He's like ah. He always he just yells about it all the time. He's like I'm a liberal. They call me far right. It's like it's unfair. Yeah, I thought he was like a conservative dude. No. In fact, he's turning Austin blue. Congratulations. Is he really? Yes. Why are you ruining Texas? Uh, the only blue in Texas should be for the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, right. Sure. Well, wasn't Austin always blue? I don't know. Or it's red. It's purple. What I do I know. know? We don't know. It's going to be orange soon, baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. That crush is coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, Get all crush. that sugar. Oh, my God. Sugary. Swallow it sweet. down. Yes. Got to wash that brisket down. Some what S- what better than a nice cold can of Orange Crush? Can of Orange Crush. Why don't you get you should get yourself some cans of Orange Crush. Just drink them all Pop them right November on November long. <laughs> all November long. <laughs> I'll just keep drinking Orange Crushes until he wins. And then crush the can on yeah. air. There you go. Uh but it, the Joe Rogan experience became the exclusive Spotify under 2020 deal. Uh, it's actually the only reason I signed up for Spotify. <laughs> and then uh, it was worth over $200 million over 3.5 years. And it was the most popular show on the platform for the past three. So not 3.5. Boyle well, took him took him a half year to get running. Yeah. He's also drawn fire for promoting anti-Semitic tropes. Man, they're going after him. Wait, what? Yeah, they're also saying that his comment to a guest, the Tom Segura, that maybe you should just go and shoot homeless people. That sounds like it was taken out of contest. context. I don't know. They, they claim there's a lot, a lot of... Uh, so wait, he's a he's a liberal that looks like he's conservative, but also hates Jews. No, nah, I'm not going to say he likes that, but uh, he has produced more than 2,200 episodes Average length, two to three hours. I don't know how this man could talk that long for a day. He's just, he's the Is man. Is he high all the time? Yes. Is he really? <laughs> uh, usually. Sometimes he's not. But, uh, yeah. He's had David Goggins on and Robert Downey Jr., Dave Chappelle, Dwayne Johnson, Quentin Tarantino, Miley Cyrus, Snoop Dogg, Jewel, Eddie Post Izzard, Malone. Mike Tyson, Post Malone, Zach Bryant. Yeah. Like Post Malone. And he goes, I never do a podcast just because a person is popular. I see. So there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it's number two. Uh, it's number one. And then have you ever heard Alex Cooper's Call Her oh, Daddy podcast? Yeah, the, the, the blonde hoe that just talks about getting fucked. In the butt. Yeah. Remember she had the partner and then. Yeah. She was too hot for her. So she got rid of her. Yeah. 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 So. Her daddies or something. I forget what her. Her daddies. Her like fans are called the daddies. I think they're called the, the fans daddies. are called daddies. I think Why so. does anyone listen to that show? I don't know. It seems like a waste of everyone's time. Yeah. Uh, unless it's just, she's like, it's basically only fans that she gives ASMR for. Yeah. I don't know if it's changed because she has You've ever listened now. to it. No. So I don't know. I think way back in the day I did maybe three or four years ago. I was like, why is this popular? This bitch is retarded. <laughs> because everybody thinks she's an easy. Oh. And she's, she's not that. Attra- like she's okay. She's, she's pretty mid. I think she's better than mid. She's better than Dua Lipa. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. Yes, she is. Alex Cooper's not better than Dua Lipa. Well, let us say, let us know down below. Did Rogan deserve this contract? What do you guys think? Do you think it, the, the podcast 
bubble is bursting. I think there's a pos- there's an argument to be made for that. Do you think that Dua Lipa is mid? Do you think Alex Cooper is mid? Which one is better, Alex Cooper, Dua Lipa? You be the judge. We will. Dua Lipa. No. She's got Dua nipples. No. Tiny. Not even barely there. Like a young boy. Alex Cooper is the same thing. I'm going to disagree with that. We'll do more research if you ask us to do it (laughs) below in the comments. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. I guess for now, um... Check us out on Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, yeah, that's right. For our Shit. live stream and catch us here on YouTube and Rumble. Or hopefully uh, iTunes again and maybe, Spotify. And fingers crossed. We used to be with Joe Rogan on Spotify. So okay. anyway, like, subscribe. We love all y'all. Stop looking at your phone, you loser. I was seeing if we got an answer with why our shit went. All right. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next one.